All right, welcome back to Coffee Bean Airsoft channel, and um, today I'm going to talk about the Marori AK. Well, specifically, um, I'm just going to talk about Trigger because up until now, I have the Marori AK, but as you can see, it's in bits. And um, I'm no real rush to actually like build, complete this build. But um, I have an us, or rather, it is of my interest to actually look into Trigger because um, the Trigger on the Marori AK is going to be like super, super light. And um, when I first saw the Expo diagram, like the internal diagram of the Mori AK, and well, there was a trigger box, and people are always usually skeptical of um the Mori trigger box because um, as of MWS, it's over engineered, it's slightly complicated, and it's not realistic per se. But then Mori has made it the Z system, which is very reliable by compromising on um realism. They have over engineered the trigger box. To a way that is um very very reliable and uh, durable, because um in the case of the Murray AK um the zinc alloy FCG is pretty different from a GHK AK, but um it does comprise of a disconnector, a hammer, and a hammer catch, and well and a trigger itself. And how they do it is quite different. Um, so. The springs that are used in the Marui AK are all compression springs. And that actually makes it very, very easy to chew the trigger weight. Um, on the other hand, the GHK has a bunch of um, coil springs. Well, basically angled springs that you can't really buy. They're not generic springs because um, they have to... Uh, they're angled at 60, degree, at 60 degrees and a slight oblique angle for the um, trigger spring. And... The only trigger spring replacement or increasing the trigger, the only way to increase the trigger weight is to buy, um, what was it called, Bowmaster's spring set. And that spring set is junk for a GHK AK because um, it's over spec it's upgraded way too much, and most of the time you ac actually can't install the springs. For a Moray AK, this is much more easier, uh, but consequentially, the trigger is very light. So what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to illustrate how heavy the trigger actually is. I finally got myself a trigger gauge and just going to reset the hammer manually. There we go. The <clears throat> selector is in semi and so I'm just going to pull at it. So here we go. Get it support the center of the trigger. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on. I try it again. Set the hammer. I get a peak reading of one pound, and I believe that is thirteen point three hours. Not really sure how to read it in Piro, but. One pound something, right? And um, what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to disassemble this. Or rather, I'm going to take out the trigger box. Uh, and because the pins are already removed, all I have to do is remove the firing selector by... Let's see. Firing selector out. And just going to take out the trigger box. And as you can see, the Murray trigger, I mean, the Murray trigger box, has three springs. That's just the firing pin reset. This is a hammer catch, the f the real hammer catch, which is a wedge underneath the hammer and not the trigger, the hammer catch on the, ha uh, the trigger itself. And that is an actual trigger spring. So the trigger pull weight of the Murray AK is basically dictated by these two springs. And so. Changing the weight is as simple as swapping out these two springs, but um, these two springs do something different. If you change your tr trigger spring, this will increase the trigger uptake, the uptake weight. If you change the uh, the hammer catch spring, uh, this will increase the wall, the wall weight. So when you hit the wall, when you pull the trigger, this spring is what's giving the weight of a wall. And to illustrate that. Right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the trigger spring and just measure the weight of the hammer catch 
spring or to wall weight. So I'm not even sure you can actually measure it, but as you can see, trigger spring is out. And all I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna reseed it and measure it again. So this is just measuring the This is just measuring the weight of a wall, so I'm going to reset the hammer, there we go, right, and if theory is correct, right now you can see that because of the, these trigger springs removed, there is no uptake weight, so the only weight is the wall or the hammer catch. And, um, oops. So, let's try again. I'm not sure whether you could measure anything at all. So, okay, there we go. Around 11.4? Not sure how to read this. If someone knows how to read this damn gauge, tell me. But, um, so that's the weight of a wall. That's not a lot. And combined with the spring we had earlier, the original trigger spring we had earlier, the trigger spring is giving the weight one pound of weight. And the hammer catch or the wall is another 11.4 ounce. Um, ounce. I'm not sure how, how the hell you read this, but yeah. I'll probably look up the Look at the conversion a bit, but um, there you go. So, what I am going to do right now is that I do have a different spring here. This is a stiffer disconnector spring that I used to use for the GHK 8K disconnector. Uh, it is a smaller diameter, smaller diameter than the stock, uh, the stock trigger spring in the Murray 8K, but it's stiffer because of the thicker wire gauge. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to prop this in and see what is the increase of weight. Just to prove that you could in fact very easily increase the weight of your Marie, uh, Marie AK trigger. So I'm going to reset the trigger first, then pull it out. Yep. So. Take my stiffer spring and I'm just gonna prop that in there without yep just like that so that's a stiffer spring replaced and put that all back in and measure the weight again yep oh that's a reset so clear and um, let's try that again. Much heavier. So right now I have increased the weight by an entire pound. That's now a two pound trigger compared to original trigger, which is one pound. Uh, yeah. So that's it for increasing the Murray AK's trigger weight, but um, I'm going to have to order some springs because the dimensions of the hammer catch spring is not standard. It's like a half increment of a millimeter, so I don't have the generic springs right now to actually replace this. But uh, I'm going to try to increase the weight of the wall just slightly, and then I'm probably going to balance out with the trigger, the trigger, uh, trigger spring weight. So. Probably gonna aim for a three pound, four pound trigger, just just for laws. But um, I do like a heavier trigger, even though it's an AK. It's supposed to have a mushy trigger, but the Mori AK trigger is not mushy. It is just light, one pound light. And yeah, so that's it. I'll probably make another video when I do get the springs in. I'll also get some combinations, and um, I will yeah, sell some of these springs. What a fucking bullshit product.